I'm Sergeant Josh Hopper, United States Marine Corps. He did two tours in Iraq, fired thousands of rounds, saw lots of casualties, IEDs, the person he was before those deployments, and when he came back, he was a different man. He was really distant. Mood swings was a big thing. Drank in a lot. We fought constantly. I couldn't sleep. All I think about is his negative thoughts. I just walked up to my CO saying, Sir, I've had all I can take. I need some help. The CO actually personally picked up the phone and lined up inpatient treatment. It seemed like from that day on, when I would go to get treatment, you know, go to my classes, things like that. Things started getting better. Returning to full health and clearances and everything else, I actually respect him and trust him more now because of the fact that he had a problem, he had an issue, he brought it to me. Together we figured it out, we fixed it, and he's as good or better Marine now and in the future. It takes real strength to swallow your pride and say, I need help, and to go actually get the help. stigma is that people think if I ask for help that I'm showing weakness, whereas I think it's just the opposite. You have to be ready to tell your story, but this generation seems to want to talk about it and it's very therapeutic, so everybody should be given a chance to tell their story. We're taught from day one, recruit training, take care of each other, you know, no matter what the condition is. It all comes back to take your strength to swallow your pride and say, I need help, and to go actually get the help.